Hello, this is Aaron, one of the devs on Iron Wolf VR. Today I'm doing a quick demonstration of how to pilot the submarine. We've placed all the controls inside the minimum room scale space so you can just physically walk up to them. I'm playing on my own today so I'll be using some of the assists to help me. I've turned on the hydrophone assist which you can see working on the multi-purpose compass which shows the orientation of the sub, the periscope and the hydrophone. You can see the hydrophone is automatically rotating around and when it hears a contact it will slow down to get better metrics on position and velocity. Contacts detected by the hydrophone are automatically added to the map as white points of light. We can see it's detected a small convoy here. Now I just need to steer the boat and intercept the convoy to attack it. This is the rudder wheel which you can use to steer the submarine. By default it controls the main rudder directly which you can see on the rudder angle dial. You can rotate at 180 degrees either side of the centre for fine control and you get some haptic feedback to tell you when you're at the max of the range and also some haptics to recenter the rudder. Now if I flick this switch it enables the rudder assist which lets you set your bearing directly. It changes the haptics on the wheel so I get a nice click every time it goes past a bearing marker and I can now spin the wheel infinitely. It's a much easier way to manoeuvre the sub but it isn't as fast as controlling the rudder directly. Now let's choose a bearing of 330 as this should allow us to intercept the convoy that was detected earlier. We then use the engine order telegraph to get the boat moving. Set to a stern for reverse and a head for forward. Nice haptics here again. Uh, let's go for full ahead. The speedometer shows that our speed is increasing. As we're using the rudder assist, the rudder is being automatically controlled to rotate us towards our target bearing for intercepting the convoy that the hydrophone found earlier. The compass now shows the sub rotating around to face that bearing. Now it looks like it's going to overshoot slightly, but the auto rudder will do all corrections for us with fine adjustments to the rudder. The green marker also shows the sub orientation in the centre of the map. The convoy looks to be about 3 kilometres away. We're travelling on the surface at the moment, which is more dangerous as planes can attack you, but it's much faster than travelling when submerged. The current visual range of enemy ships is about 2 kilometres, but we'll be balancing that in playtesting. So as we're approaching the 2 kilometre marker, we should think about submerging for the sneak attack. We can submerge quickly by starting to fill the ballast tanks and also operating the hydroplane, which is this big wheel here. It rotates the fins on the side of the sub, which will adjust your depth quickly when the submarine is moving forward. Let's level off the hydroplanes and hopefully we'll stabilise at periscope depth as the buoyancy returns to zero. Right, we're now submerged and within visual range, so all we need to do now is use the periscope to destroy some of the ships as shown in our previous video. Okay, thanks again for watching. We'll have more videos coming soon.